NetRadioDogs.com. Rick Dollar, we're live at Bristol Motor Speedway with uh, the man himself, Mr. Mike Helton. How are you, sir? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's uh, how's NASCAR doing? Doing okay. We, uh, we've had a pretty good 15 and a lot of energy around the sport. Exactly. Uh, Bristol's got a lot of excitement attached to it this weekend. It's fun to fun to feel it exactly. vibrate up here again. Well, the good thing is you're a you're a Bristol guy. So you grew up here, John Battle High School, and went to King University. So I know my way around. The you know your way around. around. I, don't yeah. get, I don't have to get out my GPS around. Exactly. Here. I'm not gonna tell everybody how we met. So. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. I was shopping for bibbed overalls. He was I'm shopping not. for bibbed overalls at LC King. We'll give those guys a plug too. Order brand bibbed overalls. Order brand bibbed overalls. That's right. But, uh, since I was three years old. Exactly. There is uh, there's one question that everybody asks me to ask you. Okay. What plan do you have for NASCAR to draw in new and different fans over the next say five years? We've, we've got a lot of incentives that are recognizing the, the digital social world and the, the different tastes and, and uh, I guess characteristics of, of audiences from 105 to one year old. Exactly. And, and that's a challenge. I mean, that's, that's on everybody's plate to figure out and certainly we've got initiatives in place with, uh, with programs at, at, uh, at school levels and programs at the family level. We change rules and regulations at the racetracks to, or from NASCAR's areas at the racetrack to encourage families to attend so that they, the children can, can see the sport and, and be enthralled as we were when we first were saw it. And so we've, we've got education programs, we've got science and technology programs, STEM programs, we've got, we've got outreaches, we've got inclusion, we've got multiple years of, of efforts going on to, to tell the story of NASCAR to anybody that will give us 30 seconds to talk about that. I got you. We'll give you more than that. You can keep talking if you want. That's okay. <laughs> we appreciate you coming by and, and talking with us and actually giving Net Radio Dogs the uh, opportunity to sit down with you. Um, what does the future hold for Mike Hill? Well, I'm on the, I'm on the outside of my curve, I guess, but, but I've enjoyed a lot of years watching the sport develop and grow and, and consider myself one of the most fortunate persons on the earth that, that have been in this era uh, uh, watching the first bulldozer turn over dirt here uh, with, uh, with the guys uh, Larry Carrier and Carl Moore decided to build this racetrack I uh, had no clue what that meant at that age uh, but they have fallen in love with it and, and to be a part of it I, certainly had a great career. We've got so many talented uh, people that come through the ranks now and, and the, the sport has got a lot much more responsibility and takes more people. So it's been a, it's been a extremely enjoyable and fortunate experience for me. But you know, I, I've got a few years left in me, not as many as I'd like to think I had, but, but uh, there's that a lot of, the best there's a lot of, we, we, the calendar catches up with all of us, so we, we have to be respectful of that. And, but but I, I enjoy sitting back watching the enthusiasm and the energy of the new people that show up and, and are excited to be part of NASCAR, whether it's in our organization or the, with the teams or the, the industry players. It's, it's fun to, to watch that enthusiasm uh, in their faces. And we remember when we became fans of the sport. Oh, yeah. How it hooks you. It, it becomes part of your lifestyle. True, true. I noticed a lot of the uh, sponsors are changing more to family oriented. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And that's a, a good, positive thing to see. And of course, that's going to help uh, you know, bring the right people in to the sport. And they're going to. Somebody that would normally not sit down in a seat to come and watch a race, they're going to be. Well, and that's that's what today's world is about. It's, it's you can't wait on it to find you. You've now got to look for it exactly and show it to them. And you got to deliver it in a way that satisfies their appetite for entertainment, for that connection. And, and we've got so many great characters in our sport that we believe we've got a recipe. Certainly, the ingredients for a big recipe that 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 people can attach themselves to and follow. They do. That's for sure. Mike, we'll let you get back to what you got to do. Great seeing you. Thanks. Yes, sir. Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com, and I'm here with Mike Hill.